This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the chairman and CEO of ALX Resources, Mr. Warren Stanier. Warren, I would ask you how you are, but I suspect that you are doing better than the last time I spoke with you on the back <laughs> of the good news this morning. Well, it's a beautiful day, but sometimes you have to get up real early for a day like today. But, you know, we, we did well. We announced our deal with Rio Tinto Exploration Canada, Inc. And we now have a deal with the second largest mining company in the world. I think their market cap's about $200 billion, So that's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. I noticed that the two companies have agreed to change the name of the Falcon Nickel Project to the Firebird nickel project can you speak to that a bit and then let's talk about the way the deal is structured because it's it's somewhat shareholder friendly in the sense that you're going to get quite a significant investment into the property to start discovering what's there almost immediately yes i mean at this point the, there's a commitment that they want to uh do a, a airborne survey and that's going to help decide where the targets are in the north where we think the higher grades of nickel are. It's really underexplored up there. Um, and by the way, the changing the name, it occurred because FALC, Fort Alicorn, was named Falcon when Rio Tinto came into the diamond play there. The, the world's largest kimberlites are in Saskatchewan. So uh, when we first started talking, they said, you know, we'll have to change the name. So. Falcon was the name of a guitar, as is Flying V, which is our other property in that area. So now Firebird is also a guitar. And it's it's a nice image of a, a mythical creature that's fiery and hot and <laughs> magmatic. Makes for a good story. What makes for a better story <laughs> is a significant discovery, Warren. I understand that airborne survey is going to cover almost 20,000 acres, right? 8,000 hectares or so? Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, what The northern part of our property, the last part that we added on, and the one that has the Wiley Lake showing, uh, which was almost overlooked by everyone, uh, it, it's, it's something that has high grades of nickel, much like Curry Lake, but nobody really paid any attention to it. It's never been flown. So we're going to get the latest and greatest helicopter-borne EM survey over this property and I just think there's going to be a smorgasbord of targets. But, you know, I'm, I'm an internal optimist, but I, I believe that there's high-grade nickel in the area. And people just didn't use these tools in the past. And those are the tools we have at our fingertips. Rio Tinto will earn into 51% by funding $3 million within three years, correct? That's right. And subsequently, and to, mm -hmm. to, pardon me. No, no, go, go ahead. ahead. Well, if they decide to, to form a joint venture then, then we're responsible for 49%. Uh, I would say generally the, the bigger companies want to move to 80. Uh, if, if we're having success, we should be able to fund our share of, of the programs. And continued success means continued investor interest. Um, but it's that next $9 million that would really help to find the project as they earn towards 80%. As I understand it, Warren, Rio Tinto will be the operator of exploration, but they can designate ALX to actually become the operator at any time during the first or second option period, correct? That's right. They have very high standards, so I hope that we can meet those standards in, in terms of their their protocols and, and all the health and safety uh, that's built into their corporate integrity statements. And they, they just have a, a, a very high standard for their employees, and so they're comfortable with their own group. And to be accepted into that group would be a great thing for us. Absolutely. What does the rest of the year hold in store for shareholders? This obviously was well received by the market. Um, I think you traded north of a million shares today. You were up at one point over 20%. You closed up nearly 17%. Heck of a day for the shares. But I know there's a lot more in the pipeline. Yeah, so now that Falcon is in good hands, and whether we operate or not, uh, it, it leaves us free to look at our gold projects that we've been developing. 
we've got a couple uh, up our sleeve, I suppose, and we're, we're looking at some new ones in, all in Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan is a great place to work as Rio Tinto is, is showing the world. They now have three active projects in Saskatchewan, the Ford Alicorn Diamond Play, Falcon, uh, the Janus Lake, which is Forum Energy Metals, the copper deposit there that they're drilling, and, and now Firebird. A lot to look forward to. Warren, anything else that you'd like to add? Congrats again. I know it's not an easy task to get these deals across the finish line with a major like this. Well, I think that they have a, a really good group over there. Um, they looked at our samples that we first brought in in October and showed them, and, and then they realized these have the grade. They have the, what's called the nickel tenor. That is the percentage of nickel in the sulfides that that meets the world standard for for what could there could be mines in the area so they're taking a chance and and i applaud them for it because that's what it's all about it's it's risk taking it's we're prospecting with the the best science and the best tools and i'm just really pleased that that we managed to bring this deal to fruition well done warren we'll talk again soon thank you thank you gerardo all the best down in texas same your way, though. I think you got it a bit better than we do right now. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But anyway, the weather's nice. I hope it is for you, too. It's, it's great. It's great. No complaints. Cheers, Warren. Thanks and congrats again. Thank you, Gerardo. Take care.